Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Brendan. I was on the software team last year for OCS Robotics. Uh, today, I'm just going to show you guys everything you need to install to get started with programming your robot. So, the first thing that we need to do right now is we need to install FRC Game Tools. Now, this will give you Driver Station, which is just kind of like a an application that you can use to control your robot. So. These links right here, all of these will be in the description of this video as well as on our website. So the first thing you need to do is just go over here and click the download button and click keep. And now we just need to open it and run it. Okay, so just click accept next, right? Click next and it will install everything. So now we just have to wait for it to install. So now that it has installed, you can just come over here, like next, agree, and it'll install all of these things that we need. And we'll let it finish. That this has finished. This will pop up on your screen. You can just exit out of this. Okay, doesn't really matter. And we will have to restart computers now, so let me do that. Okay, we are back after the reboot of our computer after installing driver station. So now I'm just going to show you what it's about. So here it is. Okay, it will open up. And this is basically what it looks like. It's, um,. Actually, this will actually show up, and you can just click out of that. This is basically what it looks like. Okay, it's a very small window, and it just has all the options to control the robot. It will show up to enable here. I don't have the robot with me, so I can't really show you guys how it works, but this is what you mainly use to control the robot. So, now the next thing we need to install is something called WPI Lib. And basically what that is, it's a library... Um, for programming the robot, it contains um, just about every line of code that you need to control the robot. So it's basically a framework uh, that's partnered with FRC, right? Um, it also uses VS Code, which is an IDE, an integrated development environment. And basically, if you already have VS Code installed on your computer, it will just install the WPI lib part. But if you don't, it'll also install uh, VS Code. So this link right here is is go takes you to GitHub, which basically um, is where you download it. GitHub is just like a code sharing platform. So you want to scroll all the way to the bottom. And depends on what operating system you have. Most of us either use Mac or Windows. So if you're using Mac, you click this one. If you're using Windows, you have to find out your... Um, your type of your uh, operating system. So if it's 32-bit or 64, I have 64-bit, so I'm going to download this one. And it will download. It's quite a big file, so it may take a while. So I will be back when it finishes. OK, so what you'll want to do here is we will open our file, and we'll be created with this. OK, and you want to click on WPI Lib Installer, and this page will open up. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to download VS Code for single install. Okay, and wait for that to finish. So once that is done, what we will want to do is click Next. Okay, and here are all the items we would like to install. Now, you can uncheck C++ Compiler because we will not be using C++, which is a programming language. We will be using Java for our robot. So then we want to click Install for this user. And now we must wait for our install to finish. Okay. So now we have finished our install and we can just click finish and close out all of this. Okay. Okay, so now what we want to do, okay, once our install is finished, we just want to go WPI lib and we can see 2021 WPI lib VS code. We can open that up. Okay, and this is basically what we will be using for to code. Right, so in the next video, I will show you guys, and David will show you guys how to make a project, and we will go from there. So now that we have this installed, we can leave it, 
Okay, and the final thing we have to install is just from here, so with this link, Crossroad Electronics, this is for our motors, we just have to, so we'll be at this link, and we go tech resources, then you see here Phoenix Framework releases, and it will take you to a GitHub page, and you just want to scroll down to here, and you want to click CTRE Phoenix Framework.exe, and let that download, it won't take too long. Once that has downloaded, all we want to do is open it and run it. Okay, and now we have this up, click next. Okay, so now what we want to, we just want to leave this like it is, okay, and just click next. I agree, I agree, and let that install. Okay, so once we have Phoenix installed, all we want to do is just open it up. So this is Phoenix Tuner. Basically what this is for, if we want to use our motor controllers in CAN, um, we would configure them through this, okay? So we can exit out of this now, and basically we have everything we need installed, okay? So just to recap, we have FRC Game Tools, which gives us Driver Station. We have WPI Lib, VS Code, which gives us our, basically, ability to code the robot and we have our phoenix tuner for our motor controllers if we decide to use them in can so thank you for listening um the next video will go over the drivetrain and motors and david will be going over um just an overview of vs code and wpi loop